Hi, my name is Ben Coates. I'm the Trek team liaison. Um, I work with the Astana cycling team. I'm standing here with Chris Horner's race bike for the 2009 uh, race season. Uh, right now, he's got his training wheels on it. You guys are riding in the rain a bit today, and um, we use a Bontrager Classic wheel. It's 32 hole, uh, double box section rim. Just really bomber. Um, great for training. A little bit heavy for uh, you know helping build the muscle and power and. Some of the significant things about our Madone is uh, we start with the fork, the front end here. We have a, a no 90 fork, which means the carbon doesn't have any 90 degree bends in it. it. It's a smooth transition from all the way from the dropout all the way up into the steer tube. Uh, makes the fork lighter, stiffer, stronger, uh, better for safety um, and rigidity. Uh, part of the, the way we did that was by going to an inch and a half lower bearing uh, on, the head, on the head tube and an inch and an eighth on the top keeps it easy for standard stem, sand, standard headset parts, standard spacers. Um, another thing that uh, is proprietary about our bikes is, is a BB90 system which is our integrated bottom bracket system. It's net molded which is really cool because there's no machine to surface, there's no multiple tolerances, there's no threads, the bearings drop right in, um, makes the bearing alignment very, very precise, uh, which helps us keep the bearing really smooth and the longevity really long. Uh, part of the reason why we did this was uh, for rigidity. You can see that a 90 millimeter wide bottom bracket allows you to have a much wider down tube. So a traditional 68 millimeter bottom bracket, you wouldn't be able to have this, this massive down tube um, that makes the tr power transmission so much better. Uh, same with the, with the chain stays. You, you have so much, you have such a wider stance on the chain stays because of the, the added area um, that you can widen them out. The other big thing for us is the new no cut seat mass system uh, on this bike. So. The seat mass system is really cool because it allows us to decrease all of the duplicate material. So you used to have to have all of this extra material in this area to hold a seat post to, to deal with the forces that causes from flexing a seat post. Well now you eliminate any of that and you draw all of the, all of the uh, material out of there and you can tune the carbon fiber layup in this area and this area so that you have more flexion in the seat. That, that's vertical compliance, you know, basically better ride quality. So the overall package of the, head, the, the front end, the bottom bracket, and the seat mast, you have something that helps stiffen in the head tube, you have something that helps stiffen in the bottom bracket, and then totally unrelated to your pedaling and power transfer, you have something that actually relaxes the ride quality. So it makes for a really comfortable bike, but yet really fast, really stiff. Um, great for racing. Kind of depends on the rider, but, but everybody for sure gets um, a race bike, a spare bike for the roof of the car, and a home bike to start the year. Uh, and then they get another bike halfway through the season, uh, a new race bike. And then each rider has a, a time trial bike and a spare time trial bike. Um, and maybe 12 to 15 guys have home time trial bikes. 